Hey guys, back with another video. This time, I'm able to show you another LEGO creation. I'm presenting to you guys a LEGO pencil machine. This is not the machine and saying, how do I use it? Well, it's pretty simple. This arm here moves forward and back, just slides around to adjust. And it also turns in circles. It's basically a pencil holding machine. These two pins lock it in place. So if you say you like it right here, you don't want to move it. Place it inside of the axle hole. And then you take another one and then you place it down here at the lever down there just to hold that also in place. And now you can just move it around just like that. And it lightly draws a little shape for you. This is great for drawing when you're drawing and you basically you want to continue the next day but you don't know where you stop this can hold your place it's pretty useful for me and i'm going to be teaching you guys instructions in the next video and you guys should try making this i mean this is great for those of you guys who like to draw and who also love lego this is what i built on a base plate um a 36 by 36 base plate um and it's got a pencil in it. You don't have to have the same pencil. You can have any pencil. Lead pencils work just as well. There's a rubber band holding the pencil in place there, which is pretty simple. And let's show you all the movements this can basically Quite do Quite a freely. few movements it can do freely. First of all, I can go forward and back. And second of all, I can go side to side. And third of all, when you have this all the way up, this lever thing also moves like that and we also got this thing that moves so there's a bunch of movement going on like shape it any way you want I mean this is your option I mean this is just like what I would use for designing and these are the movements it can do there's pegs there to stop it coming stop it from coming out but other than that I draw a few strong. things with this and see how well it does compared to drawing something without First anything. thing I'm gonna draw here is Lego in 3D. We got some pretty good art skill from drawing number one. You can see we got some Lego down here in 3D and then up there I put LE just to shorten it. We're gonna test these two just with a regular pencil and I'm gonna come back with the results and show you guys. At the second uh, drawing's results, they're pretty good compared to the first one, but did you notice one thing that it's more darker than the first one? Forced pencil is a little dull, but with sharper pencil, it would work. Um, they still work, I mean, Top one looks a little better than the bottom. They're close to equal. I would give the top one a nine out of a 10. And the bottom one, let's say like a eight out of 10. I mean, that's not that bad. There's a difference by a little. They're pretty good. So I would just recommend using them. We're gonna ten test this with its drawing features around a piece of Lego glass. We're so gonna we'll start it. from the corner. Here, working our way down. You can see right now it's pretty free. I mean, the arm, it just slides very nicely. Even when it's right next to the machine itself, it's just fabulous. I couldn't make anything better than this. All right, it's tracing with the first one was pretty damn neat. <laughs> it's solid square at the bottom right corner. I kind of messed up because it was my fault I was rushing. But it's not that bad, it turns out to be pretty good. And now let's test it with another thing. In drawing, we're gonna draw it around a mini gel piece. Picking up the pencil, we're gonna start it very nicely. Gonna go around it. We're also gonna draw the inside of it. Just to let you guys know. I already see it <laughs> coming pretty. I know it's gonna look like come out to be it's gonna come out to be pretty good. All right, I'm just gonna pick it up there, and I'm gonna do the rest. So you guys can see the results were 
pretty good. I mean, let's see if they match that. Perfect. They match it perfectly. I mean, this thing overall today, I would give it like a 10 out of a 10. This is just good. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. The idea was to make a automatic Lego drawing machine, but then I took it a step further and made it manual so that it holds the place of drawing. Now let's fill it up inside with detail and see how much better it does. All right, first we're gonna start out drawing a little star here, using the lines to help, just like that. I don't, I'm not that good at drawing stars, but with this, I'm pretty good. I don't know if you guys noticed, I just changed pencils um, to a more sharper pencil. I drew a bit of detail around it, started inside the star, and I circles around it. Do your help a lot. I mean, they're not just pins, they're also drawing technique tools. So this one I found out pretty good for drawing a sphere shape. So I'm just gonna put it there and it just holds this place up there. Hold on, give me a second. So there, I mean, messed up there, but overall it makes a great shape, a circle shape. Just go and fill the inside up with the little mini figurehead. But I can't say I'm a pretty good artist, but I'll try my best. But there's a really pretty dress head. Mini figures, let's try drawing something really, really artistic and realistic. What do we have here? Well, I present to you guys the gel piece I made. I turned it a little more artistic, let's say. I got some more little squiggly details, some dark on the side, I colored it lightly, shaded it in, do some star shaped stuff, and yeah, just made it more artistic. Thank you for watching so much. If I can reach more than 100 subscribers, I will make a really epic video. Um, and if I get more than 100 likes on this video, I will make another video after that, a bonus video, which is going to be a little longer than five minutes, but they're going to be epic, really, really epic. I have it all planned out, and if I get over 100 likes and subscribers, I will release something really nice. It's really neat. So, thank you for watching, and don't forget to keep on building. See you soon.